Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for Oblivion using Mod Organizer. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at the mod Oblivion Reloaded, version 4. Oblivion Reloaded is a mod that makes significant changes to the rendering engine in Oblivion and adds several new configurable options to the game. This includes things like dual wielding, first person camera, and a slew of enhanced shaders. There is far too many features for me to list them off individually, so I am going to have them scroll along the screen right now, and you can just sort of take a look at these and read them if you are interested in exactly what this mod does. I initially planned to cover this mod actually much earlier in the series, but I was having a crashing issue that turned out to be due to a different program on my computer entirely, but I erroneously blamed this mod at the time, so I pulled it out of the video. This has gone through several hours of testing, so you needn't worry, and while it does cause you to lose a couple of frames here and there, it also improves the frame rates in other areas, and if you have a decent computer, you're pretty much only really going to be worried about 2 or 3 FPS in certain areas. Something that for people on lower end systems might be a bit of a problem, but if you have a modern rig, you shouldn't really need to worry about it. Uh, now that you've seen some of the stuff that this mod has to offer, let's get to the installation. In in order to install Oblivion Reloaded, you're going to need to head over to the Nexus page for this mod. From there, navigate along to the file section and download the main file manually. I'd also recommend going back to the description after you download this mod and giving it a quick read. There is some very important information here, particularly stuff related to the recommended in-game video options and a few other recommended any settings that I would recommend that you change. Next up, go to your desktop and extract the the file that you downloaded using an archiving tool like WinRAR or 7-Zip. After you've done that, open up the folder. From inside, you will notice an OBSE folder, and we're going to have to follow our usual procedure for OBSE. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion. Open up our data folder, open up our OBSE folder, and open up our plugins folder. From here, we'll open up the mod, so Oblivion Reloaded's OBSE folder, and open up that plugins folder, select both the DLL and the INI, and then copy them to plugins. Uh, it might prompt you to replace, although that's probably just because I had this installed earlier, and if it does, just click OK. Once your Oblivion for Mod Organizer has opened up, go ahead and click on the little icon right here, click the Install Mod button, and then select Oblivion Reloaded.7zip. Open that up, click the manual button, make sure that everything looks good, which it does, uncheck OBSE, and then click OK. After that, the file will be activated and you can go ahead and check it off. Keep in mind that the next time you attempt to launch Oblivion through Steam, uh, if you're using workaround mode or through any other method, you will get this because the file is going to quickly change some any files. It might even give you a little message saying that it's going to give you your first time setup. From here, you're going to need to go into the options menu and match the settings that are recommended on the mods page. Uh, it should look something similar to this. You need HDR on, anti-aliasing off, uh, things like that, but I'm not going to go through it in extreme detail because at this point in the guide you should be familiar with it. Once again, you can just go ahead and check out, um, you can comment below if you need help or anything like that. And after that you can go ahead and launch the game and everything should be good. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please leave comments down below if you'd like me to continue this series, we're getting to the point where it's going to be less tutorials and more mod showcases, that kind of thing, but I will keep providing the tutorials because I know some people do appreciate them. Also, you may be wondering what's going on with my desktop background. Well, there will be a link in the description of this video, and if there isn't, just leave a comment telling me that I am dumb and telling me to put the comment in there, which will lead to a video where I show off the software that allows you to have animated backgrounds on your Windows device. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Sewell, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Yeah.